Dust swirls across the ancient borderlands where empires rose and vanished. Between the towering Hindu Kush and the vibrant plains of the Indian subcontinent lies a forgotten passage, once alive with trade, culture, and bloodlines. For centuries, this land echoed with footsteps of kings, monks, and warriors. But it also buried secrets, deep in its soil, and deeper still in its people's DNA. Now, thanks to a breakthrough in ancient genetics, the silence is finally breaking. Scientists have uncovered a long-lost genetic link that challenges everything we thought we knew about the origins of two nations. Not through war, not through myth, but through the raw, unchangeable truth hidden in the code of life itself. What they found was unexpected and controversial. How could two modern nations, divided by politics and borders, be biologically intertwined in ways history has long erased? Could ancient migrations, forgotten empires, and invisible genes rewrite the story of South Asia? The story stretches back over 4,000 years to a time when mighty civilizations thrived along the Indus and the Helmand rivers, from the Harappan engineers of northwest India to the Bactrian kingdoms of ancient Afghanistan, these cultures flourished not in isolation, but in contact, trade, and perhaps kinship. Massive cities with drainage systems and stone palaces stood only a few hundred miles apart. Yet today, their descendants live under vastly different flags, languages, and beliefs. History books rarely connect them, but the terrain tells another story, one of caravan routes, sacred journeys, and endless waves of migration. Empires like the Maurya, Kushan, and Mughal blurred borders centuries before maps were even drawn. Yet somehow, the shared roots were forgotten. Until now. The scale of the mystery is staggering. Could the people of Kabul and Kolkata share ancestral threads older than their nations? Could a shared past, encoded in bone and blood, rewrite the region's fragmented identity? It began with a tooth. Buried beneath the ruins of an ancient settlement in northern Afghanistan, a single molar, preserved by dry soil and time, was uncovered by a team of archaeologists in 2018. They were excavating the remnants of what was once a bustling trade hub along the Silk Road. The site had yielded coins, pottery, and weapons before. But this, this was different. The tooth belonged to a woman estimated to have lived nearly 3,800 years ago. She was no queen, no warrior, just an ordinary person, long forgotten. Yet hidden in the pulp of that tooth was a time capsule of genetic data, DNA strands untouched by modern contamination. And what they found inside didn't match the known profiles of the region. In fact, the mitochondrial markers pointed far east, toward the Indian subcontinent. Could it be a mistake? Or had they stumbled upon a living thread, one that tied ancient Afghanistan to ancient India in a way never officially recorded. The discovery triggered an international collaboration. Geneticists from India, Germany, and the United States converged, determined to extract every possible detail from the fragile DNA. Using next-generation sequencing, they reconstructed the woman's full mitochondrial genome, piece by ancient piece. But she wasn't alone. More samples began to surface across Afghanistan and northwest India. Teeth, bones, and burial remains dating from 2000 BCE to the early centuries CE. Each specimen told a similar story, shared haplogroups, unexpected maternal lineages, and patterns that defied colonial-era theories of isolated evolution. The biggest challenge? Degradation. Centuries of heat and looting had left many remains brittle and fragmented. But advanced bioinformatics tools filled the gaps, and soon a startling pattern emerged. 
consistent genetic overlap between ancient Afghan and Indian populations. Not random, not occasional, systemic. Yet, the deeper they looked, the more the question grew. Was this evidence of ancient migration? Or something even older? An origin shared before history began keeping score. The moment of truth came when the team cross-referenced their ancient DNA profiles with over 50 modern populations across South and Central Asia. The results were staggering. Deep genetic signatures found in the Afghan samples mirrored those of tribal groups in eastern India and the central Deccan Plateau, regions thousands of kilometers away, separated by mountains, deserts, and centuries of division. This wasn't a case of recent intermixing. These were basal lineages, unbroken maternal lines that could only have been passed down over millennia. One specific marker, haplogroup M5, showed up repeatedly in both ancient Afghan remains and modern Indian populations. According to the researchers, the only explanation was a series of prehistoric migrations from India into Central Asia, long before written history. The data didn't just challenge old migration theories, it shattered them. The genetic clock pointed to a shared ancestry that predated the Indo-Aryan expansion, reaching back to the very roots of settled civilization in the region. Imagine it. Nearly 4,000 years ago, long before borders and flags, waves of people moved northwest from the Indian subcontinent, families, artisans, traders, seeking fertile valleys, new alliances, and sacred lands. They crossed the Indus, climbed the passes of the Hindu Kush, and settled deep into what is now Afghanistan. These were not conquerors. They were carriers of culture, language, and genetic legacy. They brought seeds, rituals, and ancient beliefs, some of which would echo centuries later in Zoroastrianism and early Vedic traditions. Their settlements merged with local tribes, forming hybrid communities that would thrive for generations. The DNA left behind tells of peaceful integration, not violent conquest. Over time, invasions and empire collapses buried these links under layers of war and forgetting. But the bloodlines endured. Generation after generation carried whispers of this migration in their very cells, until science finally gave them a voice. This wasn't just a movement of people. It was the weaving of a genetic bridge, now rediscovered. In a region so often defined by division, this discovery reveals something extraordinary. Beneath the layers of politics, language, and history lies a shared origin. One written not in books, but in blood. The forgotten genetic ties between India and Afghanistan challenge us to rethink the story of South Asia. Not as fragmented nations, but as branches of the same ancient tree. What else lies buried beneath centuries of conflict and separation? What other secrets do our genes still hold, waiting for the right tools, the right question, the right moment in time? As science continues to peel back the layers of our past, one thing becomes clear. The map of human history is far more intertwined and far more mysterious than we ever imagined. If you're fascinated by the hidden codes of our ancestry, and the ancient threads connecting civilizations. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and explore more stories that bring the past to life, one discovery at a time.